What up quarantine? Shooting Dave here. So good to see your faces. I hope you're all doing well and staying at home and doing as best as you can under these circumstances. My wife Amy and I, we're going a little bit stir crazy. It's super frustrating not being able to go outside, but we've been turning our attention to our apartment. So that's what this video is about. But before we jump into that, I want to thank each and every one of you who took part in my editing challenge that I put out last week. Now, if you've not seen the video, be warned, it's a long one, but I'll link it up here as well as down in the description down below. So go and check that one out. And if you're new here, there's about 76% of you that aren't subscribed to my channel that watch my videos. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It does make a difference. So as I mentioned, uh, Amy and I have been turning our attention to our flat. So there's been a few things that we've done. So for those of you who don't know and want to get caught up, we moved from London to LA and it's been a bit of a slow process decorating our flat. So we've got a new lamp and table from Wayfair. That's over there, that's pretty nice, I like that. We also got this new chair that I'm sat on right now, that's from uh, Ross Dress for Less, and we got this lovely throw over the top of it from Benevolence. We also got, if you can see it in the corner over there, this lovely ladder shelf, we got that from Scandinavian Designs. So the apartment is starting to take shape. We also had this lovely jar lamp that we filled up with some Hot Wheels that I've been collecting because they're so cheap and I just can't resist myself every time I go to the supermarket. So we filled that up and that looks pretty cool. It's a nice little statement piece. So living room is pretty much taken care of. We're super happy with how it's come about. It's, it's really starting to take shape. We just need a few more plants and it'll be pretty much sorted. So I decided to take my attention and turn it towards our little closet. Our little closet is where I keep all of my camera gear for now. And it, to be honest, well, it's, a, it's an absolute mess. I really wanted to do something about that. I knew that it could be better organized. I just hated having everything stacked and all cables and wires all messed up and everything mixed together. So yeah, it's it horrible to be honest. And like my camera bag, it was always packed and I didn't really like stacking things on top of it because I was worried about damaging it. So it was time to do something about that. So with a bit of Googling, I went online to Home Depot and I found like this little tool cart. Now, finding a tool cart is pretty difficult because this closet is actually very, very small. The opening of the door is only 23 inches wide and it's only about 16 inches deep inside the closet itself. So not a really a large amount of room. So Home Depot has tons of uh, tool carts, but only a few that are fit. Finally, I found one that fit and we ordered it. I also went and got some storage bins as well so I can put my cables in there, batteries in there, straps, mounts, you name it, all of it in there and that was pretty cool as well. I even got one of these uh, little Dymo label makers, shout out Cody Warner, thanks for putting me onto that. <coughs> So that's super cool. So we labeled those up. And if you haven't got one of those before, they're really weirdly satisfying. There's nothing better than making your own labels. So that meant I could put some labels on those storage bins so I know exactly what's in there and everything has its own little home. The other thing that I wanted to do was get some of the uh, light stands and uh, soft boxes and tripods up onto the wall or up onto the shelves because right now they were just jammed down in the corner and it was a bit of a mess trying to get stuff in and out constantly when, when making these videos or doing some photo shoots. So hammered some nails into the wall and that got the light stands up and because we cleared out the top shelf that meant that all the tripod and the soft box could go and sit up there as well. So. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So minor little home adjustment, but I am so pleased with how I've converted my storage closet into my gear closet now. It's so all nice and organized. It's probably gonna evolve over time. I'm probably gonna change a few things here and there and improve it, but right now it, I'm stoked about how it looks. It really, really has come together nicely and I'm super, super pleased with it. So why did I go for the tool car? Well, there's a couple of reasons. I wanted different shelves so I could have everything stored and neatly stored, stashed away. So the bottom shelf is reserved for lighting and action cameras. The middle shelf is for camera and lenses. And the top shelf is where my camera bag lives. Now the reason why I have it like that is so that the top shelf can be used if I need to pack out my gear into my camera bag to go on a photo shoot when we're allowed out of home. 
and uh, that way I can store and organize everything nice and neatly. And the reason why I got a tool cart as well is because I wanted to be portable, I wanted to be able to pull all that cart out and bring it over if I'm setting up some lighting or something, rather than having to make a million trips backwards and forwards to the gear closet. So in that way, it's nice and portable and I can stash everything away nice and easily. So like I said, it's I'm pretty happy with how it's looking right now. It might evolve over time as I use it and learn what I need to change a little bit more about it. I, there's a couple of things I would like to do already. I would like to have some better clamps or mounts to put the light stands up on. I'd also like to find a nicer solution for mounting the tripod, but that's all going to come in the future. We may actually add some lighting in there, some little push button LEDs, just so when it's dark in here, I can actually see what's going on. So before we moved out of here, we had a tiny London flat. It was a reasonable size, it had lovely natural light, but it had terrible storage. And that was the main thing that Amy and I noticed when we moved over here to LA, is that the apartments just have so much extra storage. There's tons of room in the kitchen, and the living room is nice and big as well. The bedroom has lovely built-in wardrobes as well, which means it can consume all of our clothes, and coats, and shoes, and everything like that. So that's all out of sight. But I've never had gear storage for my camera gear, before that's always been in drawers or stacked up on shelves so that's why we decided to change over this gear closet because we have the space and it's a massive novelty for us and it means that I can actually finally for once in my life organize it display it and have everything in reach so that I can easily get it all out anytime I want to film a YouTube video like this or pack up a camera gear to take out to a photo shoot so before I wrap up this video I want to show you guys what I'm gonna be making next week it's gonna be a tutorial we're gonna show you how to make this kind of weird zolly vertigo effect it's super cool and i think you guys will like it anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you've got any comments or questions or maybe you're building your own gear closet yourself let me know down below if you haven't already please do subscribe it really does make a difference and if you haven't already please do follow me on instagram i am at shooting dave and as always i shall see you in the next one see ya